Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Allie. Welcome to monthly unboxings. I am bringing them back. I absolutely miss doing these on my channel. If you guys have been an OG Miss Allie Cakes subscriber, you would know that I pretty much just like built my channel on unboxings. There was a solid year to year and a half, maybe even two years, where I only did unboxings here on my channel and I miss them so much. I don't subscribe to a ton of boxes anymore, but they kind of vary from month to month and they vary from season to season. So I figured once I get all of my boxes in for the month, I will review them all in one collective video. So if you guys are interested, please stick around. Each month or each season will be different depending on which boxes I receive. Most of the boxes I pay for with my own money, but some of the boxes are sent to me for reviewing purposes and I will make sure to disclose that in the description below. All the boxes in this video I paid for with my own money, but I do have coupon codes for all the boxes if you guys are interested in checking any of them out for yourself. So I will also put that in the description below. I'll put all the information of all the companies in the description. And again, if I have a coupon code, I will put it in the description below. They are not affiliate links. This is not a sponsored video. If you guys sign up for their service, you can use their whole entire referring program as well. So again, it will all be in the description below and I'll also put timestamps in the description if you guys are here for any specific box. So today I'm going to be doing BoxyCharm, Lily Post, Love Every, and Grove collaboration. So if there's one of those that you really want to see and not the other three, just check the timestamp. If you have any other questions and concerns after watching this video, just ask them in the comments below and without further ado, let's get unboxing. So, if you guys watched my video a couple of videos back where I decluttered my office, that is what I'm in right now to film this video. I decluttered this whole entire office and I'm turning it into a playroom for Landon. But in the process of decluttering, I can't find any of my scissors, so we got a knife here for today. I'm starting off with a BoxyCharm. If you guys are unfamiliar with a BoxyCharm, it is a makeup subscription service. Once a season, they put out a Boxy Lux, which I also subscribe to. It is all makeup and beauty related products. You get all full size products and it is $21, I believe, a month. But once a season, they put out a Boxy Lux box where you get like a huge value of products in one box. And then you do have to pay, I think it's like $40 for that box. So that is four times a year. But then every single month, they have a $21.99 don't quote me on that price I'll put it in the description box that comes to your door and you usually get anywhere between four to five beauty products so this is the theme for the month of January breaking the ice without looking at the actual products I can tell you that the value is going to be $25, $34.99, $28, $22, and $16 I don't know what those products are because I made sure not to read the title but pretty good value. The first thing that I am pulling out is Skin & Co Roma Truffle Therapy. This is a polishing, micro exfoliating truffle face gommage, whatever that is. This is a face gommage and it is made in Italy. Very interested to test this out. My skin game has been at an all time low, so I'm kind of seeking anything to help me out. So I'm pretty pumped for that. The next thing that I'm pulling out is Petite in Pretty. This is fully feathered volumizing mascara. Oh, I love when I get a mascara. And the packaging is really, really cute as well. It says feathered, so I'm gonna open it up and see like what the bristles look like. Looks like standard bristles in my personal opinion. But I love getting me a good mascara. A lot of times I won't do like a full face of makeup. I'll just put a little bit of concealer on and a little bit of foundation to cover up my redness and then I'll just curl my lashes and put some mascara on, call it a day. I feel like when my eyes are done, my whole face just like wakes up. I feel like I look so tired when I don't curl my lashes because I am so tired. But when I do use mascara, I feel like it just takes it to the next level. I could do like no makeup at all and just do my eyes and feel 100% more confident about my day. Next up is from Pretty Vulgar. Is that what this was? No, this was Pretty and Petite. This is Pretty Vulgar. This is, it doesn't say what it is. This is Undercover. 
I'm assuming that this is a concealer. I'm gonna have to look at the um, the little like pamphlet because I'm not exactly sure what this is. This is pretty vulgar, pretty vulgar. This is $25. It is undercover concealer. Yeah, so it's a concealer. That's sort of pretty, pretty much what I figured it was going to be. Hydrating, buildable, medium coverage, natural, flawless finish. Love me a good concealer because let me tell you, my skin, if you guys have been following me on Instagram, I post pictures of my skin journey all the time and it's just the hottest of the hot messes right now. This looks pretty decent because I have a decent amount of makeup on right now. But I do like putting concealer on first and I cover up all of my spots, all of my bumps, and all of my like severe redness and then I'll put my foundation on. So really excited about this. We're getting like six items this month. I'm confused. We're getting six items. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm so confused. This is the face of someone who needs to go back to work. I took an extended maternity leave when I had our son Landon. So it is going to be a grand total of nine months that I've met out with Landon. If you guys are new here, I am a teacher and I really need to go back to work because I can't even freaking count anymore. This is not six items. This is five items. One, two, three, plus one, two equals five. I think I was counting the pamphlet like Go back to work, Allison, honestly. So I received those three items that I already reviewed and then these two items for my grand total of five items. Who is she? Like, who is she? She is somebody who needs to go back to work. So let's look at the next item, the fourth item, the one, two, three, fourth item that I am receiving in this BoxyCharm box. It is Glow Recipe. And it looks like a hydrating moisturizer. No, it's not, it's a sleeping mask. And this is such pretty packaging. Watermelon Glow Sleeping Mask. Look at how beautiful this is. Oh my gosh, it's so, so nice. Please just focus. And the last and final item inside of the BoxyCharm box for January is the Ace Butte Scarlet Dust Palette. I just love all the packaging. It's just so pretty. It's so chic. It's so nice. Let's see what this palette has in store. Whoa, it's Scarlet palette. That makes sense. It's a lot of reds, a lot of pinks, a lot of like mauve colors. This is totally out of my comfort zone, but in like the best way. This is the kind of makeup that is like really fun to play around with. So I think that this will last me a really long time because this is not the makeup that I would wear on a day to day basis but definitely the makeup that I would wear when I kind of want to like make a statement. So that is everything inside of the BoxyCharm box for January. Again, retail value, $25, $34.99, $28, $22, $16. And if I am thinking correctly, this box is only $21.99 per box. Overall, I'm very impressed per the usual. I love BoxyCharm. Next up, we're gonna move on to what has quickly become my favorite box to receive in the mail every single month. It is Lily Post. If you guys are unfamiliar with Lily Post, it is a book subscription service for your little ones. They have a bunch of different boxes to choose from. They have a bunch of different price points that will fit your budget or hopefully fit your budget. I do the board box subscription. So there's a board box book where you get four board boxes per month. Then they have a picture book where you get three picture books per month, or they have a combination one where you can get a couple of board books and a couple or one or two of the picture books put together. They also get cheaper depending on how many months you subscribe to them for. This one I think starts at $14.99, and each of the board books alone are like eight to $10, so I think it's personally a very good value, and we usually will only read these books for the entire month. We'll take like a couple more from his bookshelf, but whatever we get in our Lily Post box, those typically are the books that we read throughout the entire month, and then we find his favorites and we'll bring those out from month to month as well. So I have not opened this box yet, and the excitement is killing me. Let's open it on up and see what is in store. So every single month they do like a competition 
for the kids who subscribe. This coloring contest is snow. So basically you take your box and then you have to like color it to look somewhat like snow or a snowy scene. Landon is eight months old and he's not quite at that point yet. But if we continue to subscribe to this, which I believe we will, and he starts to be old enough to color, I definitely want to enter him into that because you can win crazy prizes if you follow them on Instagram. They always share the prizes that the coloring contest wins. Real nice prizes, but we're not there yet. So we got one, two, three, four books. The first book that I am pulling out is Nursery Rhyme Time, The Wheels on the Bus. We do have The Wheels on the Bus at home, not this specific one, and he loves it because I sing it to him when I read. I don't just read like The Wheels on the Bus go round and round, like I sing it to him, The Wheels on the Bus go round and round, and he loves it. So you can never have enough of these books. This is book number one. I wanna see if it's like exactly the same. I mean, it's pretty much the same words, but the pictures are so cute and I know that he's going to love this one. I'm going to love this one as well. And he stays at my parents' house a bunch so I can always give them one of the wheels on the bus books and keep the other one. This is so cute. Okay, that's the first one. Next one we don't have. This is a big book. It is Petey. A forgetful little gosling. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Petey is a small yellow gosling who sometimes forgets things, but Petey never forgets to wear his lucky red baseball cap until he puts it in a secret place. This book is huge. Look how cute. I'm so excited. I love this subscription service so, so much. This one is $9 at the store. This one is $8 at the store. This next one is $9 at the store. And the last one, if I can get it out of here, which I can't, it's very big. The last one is $10 at the store. So you definitely get your money's worth. I only pay $15 a month for this service and you get free shipping. So A plus right there. This next one is Who Am I? How cute. Moo, who am I? We are at the point where we're doing so many animal sounds with Landon right now. This is so cute. Oh my God, you can put your eyes through it. I love this. Oh my God, this is so cute. So we're constantly being like, what does the cat say? Meow, meow. What does the cow say? Moo. So this is a really great way to like reiterate the animal with the animal sound. And I love that you can like look through it. Look how cute. You. Oh my god, I'm gonna have so much fun with this one. That's probably my favorite one so far. The last one that we have is one, two, three. It's a flip flap book. We love the flip flap books. So it's basically, now let's see if you count to two. First count the bees and then the bunny ears too. One, two. Lily post, get it, I love this. So again, this is like well over the value that I pay for the monthly subscription. It's just, I mean, if you're a parent, grandparent, an aunt, an uncle, a teacher, just somebody who loves books, this is such a good subscription service. I'm so happy that I found it. Next up in this hodgepodge of unboxings, it's super random this month. I feel like every single month it's going to be very random because I do subscribe to so many different categories of boxes from lifestyle to books to baby, etc. And then like I mentioned, I do have the occasional brand reach out to me wanting to send me a box for reviewing purposes. So it's all very, very much random this month, but I'm still loving it. The next box, I can't really show you it too much because for some reason they decided to put my address on every single crevice of this box, it's on the top, it's on the bottom, it's on the side. Don't know why they did that. So I can't really show you the full box, but I am showing you what it is called. It's called, I don't even know what it's called. It's either Love Every, Love Every, or Loverly. And don't quite know how to pronounce it. It is the toy box that we subscribe to from Landon. If you are a parent, a new parent, an OG parent, highly suggest checking them out. They're built around playing. So learning through play, playing through learning, playing through having fun, learning through having 
fun. They are all about like sustainable toys that are going to last a really long time. They're all about toys that are going to be developmentally appropriate for your child. I'm not going to lie to you. It's very expensive. Well, I think that it is very expensive. You get a box every other month from the months of zero to 12 months. And then when your child turns 12 months old, you get a box every third month and it is $40 per month but you only get a box every second month or every third month. So from the ages of zero to 12, the boxes are $80 per box, but you get charged every single month. And then from the ages of 12 months to 24 months, the boxes are $120 a box, but you get paid, you get charged, excuse me, every single month. So 40, 40, 40, $120 for the box, zero to 12, 40, 40, $80 for the box. I hope that makes sense. It is a little pricey, but, Hear me out, it is the only toys. They are the only toys that Landon plays with. He is so obsessed with these toys. It is not even funny. And I'm obsessed with them as a mother because I know that they were created with psychologists in mind and they are created to promote the development of children. I can't really speak for everything because I know I'm going to butcher like the full meaning behind them, but just check them out on Instagram or check them out on their website. It tells you all about their vision. It tells you all about like the impact on the world that they are making through their toys. I just love it. So each month or each season or each quarter or each time that you get a box, there's a theme. This theme from months nine and 10, it's the Explorer. We've already received the sensor. We have received, it says it right over here, so the looker, the charmer, the sensor, the inspector, and now we are on the explorer, which makes me sad because next time that we get a box is going to be the last one, the thinker, and then we'll start getting them every three months. But he still plays with some of these toys from the charmer box. No, excuse me, from the looker box, the zero to 12 months box. He just, he loves them, I love them, they're so much fun. So this is everything that we are receiving inside the box. This one's pretty small. Usually the boxes are like this big, but good things come in small packages. So I'm gonna share with you everything inside of this box. This is what it looks like. It's just like nice pastel colors. The colors aren't like super, super bold, so they're like screaming in your face. They're very like aesthetically pleasing. They're all sustainable. Most of them are all organic. It's just real good. They're all made with all non-toxic products. So if you guys have a baby that is between the ages of zero to 12 months or even beyond, you know everything goes in their mouth. Everything goes in Landon's mouth. So we can put pretty much all of these things in his mouth and I don't have to worry about them being like full of toxins. End rant. The first thing that I'm receiving is the How I Feel book. And it just has a bunch of emotions, sad, happy, surprised, shy, tired, excited. These are really fun. I love reading these books and then making the faces with Landon. So I'll say like mad and I'll, <clears throat> I'll make a mad face and then I'll say happy and I'll smile with him. So these are really cute. We're getting this box and then we're also getting, we're getting a book. <laughs> I need to go back to work. And then we're also getting the opposites book. So little, big. We're getting clean, dirty, and there are so many different ways that you can make this engaging for your kids. If you have little and big and you're reading about it, you could pick up something in the room that is little as opposed to something that is big. It's really, really nice. Every single one of your boxes comes with a little pamphlet. It's like a huge, huge pamphlet, and this is more for the parents to read up on. I'm obsessed with this thing because I'm a new parent, and there are so many days that I'm like, what should I do? I already read books, I already did this, I already did that, like what can I do next? So this gives you like a lot of tips and tricks. It talks to you about all the play things. It tells you more activities, which I love. So they give you like little sensory ideas and sensory things to play with with your child for that developmental period of their life. It tells you about you, baby you, like what you should be looking for, milestones, developmental milestones, things that the mom should be looking for or the dad should be looking for. This is just a great book. I've saved all of these so I can save them for our next baby as well, if and when we are lucky enough to have another one. So the next thing that I am pulling out, we are getting some stacking blocks. They're so, so pretty. These are called the first blocks. We have four wooden ones. Really, really nice. Landon loves, he doesn't love stacking. He's not at the point where he can stack yet, but mommy loves stacking and I'll stack up like these crazy things for him and he loves whacking them down. 
Next up is a peekaboo blanket. Like, look how pretty these are. It's just so beautiful. So this is the peekaboo blanket. We love playing peekaboo with Landon. He finds it so funny. He laughs hysterically. It's the best. We're also getting a little zipper pouch. This is to carry a bunch of the things around if you're going from house to house, which we do all of the time. And it looks like we're also getting a little handbag as well to carry a bunch of the toys from point A to point B. Next up, we are getting the Shapes bean bag. So they're just little bean bags. They have beans inside of them. One's a circle, one's a triangle, and they have two different patterns on them. Then we're getting the Montessori egg cup. So here's the little cup. Put the egg in it. Put the egg in it. Seems so simple. I'm telling you, something like this would keep Landon occupied for a solid like five to 10 minutes, which is a lot for an eight month old. He loves picking things up and putting them down, picking things up and putting them down. I love this. Next up, we are getting the clear tube with stacking rings and baby balls. So here are all the stacking rings. Oh, here it is. Let me put it together. So we have all of these, again, pick it up put it down, pick it up, put it down, but we also have the ball that you can put in, flip it over, put it in, flip it over. He's gonna love this. I know that this will be his favorite one. And it looks like there is one more thing in here. This is the Little Grips canister set. So these are little canisters. We're getting three canisters and it seems like they would all have grips on them. Yes, they do. So let me put these together quickly and show you. We have this one. Oh, and they have the holes on them. We got something like this in one of the months that I received from Love Every and has little holes on it so you can dip it in water when he's doing bath time and then the water all comes out on the bottom and Landon is literally mesmerized. So we have a canister that you can hold like this. The second canister is one that you can hold like this. It has a little top on it. And then the last one is one that you can open up, open up, open up, and they all have the little dots on the bottom, different dots, so the water will come out different ways. Very impressed. They also give you your stickers if you're taking your picture. It says like nine months and ten months. I can't wait to play! Last box. I can't even pick it up, it's so heavy. Last box is from Grove. Grove is also quickly becoming one of my absolute favorite boxes to receive at my doorstep every single month or pretty much whenever I want it to be. You get to choose when you get a delivery. So if you only wanna get one delivery a year, just get one delivery a year. If you wanna get four deliveries per month, get four deliveries per month. If you are unfamiliar with them, I'm going to put their website again in the description below. They are a home-based website where you can pretty much get anything that you want cleaning wise or just organizational wise for your home on their website. They have dish detergent, they have things for your kitchen, they have laundry detergent, they have a whole separate page that is just skincare and beauty, but it's all sustainable. That is what I like about this company. I'm just very into companies that are promoting sustainability recently, and that is what Grow Collaboration is all about. I'm pretty sure you've seen a billion Instagram ads on this. That's how I got suckered in, and it was like the best suckering ever because I'm obsessed, obsessed with this company. It is all non-toxic better for you, better for the environment type of products, and most of them are organic as well. So if you are interested in checking them out, I'm going to put my link in the description. If you do use my link, you will get a free either $35 or $40 gift. I'll put the gift right over here. It's usually like a five piece set and you can get it for free if you sign up. And then it is hassle free if you don't like the company, you can just cancel anytime, no questions asked. I love. With all of that being said, this is like the third or the fourth box I have received from them. You choose what you want. It's basically just like an online store and you just put what you want into your cart. And if you sign up for their service, everything is discounted and all of your shipping is free. Promise this is not sponsored. I'm just really 
into this brand and I really believe in them. So let's go over what I got. I picked all of this stuff out myself, obviously. It is not like a subscription service, it is just an online website that you pick what you want. So this is what I picked. I picked my Miss Meyer scent for the new year. I had the peppermint one, or I should say I have it up right now. I have all the peppermint set, but I figured new year, new decade, fresh start. What's like a nice, I apologize, it keeps going off. We have the ring doorbell and every time somebody like walks by our house or comes up to our house, it goes off. So if you keep hearing that, it's our ring doorbell. But yes, new decade, I was asking myself like, what's a nice fresh scent to go into the nice fresh year? Orange clove. So that is what I decided on and I already smelled it. It smells so good. So I got the soy candle the hand soap, the multi-service everyday cleaner, and the dish soap. So I'm gonna take all the peppermint stuff out, I'll put that under our kitchen sink, and I'll use it periodically, but these are the ones that I'm going to be displaying and using the most throughout January and February. And then I also got a free gift. If you spend X amount of dollars, whether it's $40, whether it's $70, however much it is, you get free gifts. This is the free gift. I think I got two free gifts actually. So let me see if the other one is in here. But you spend so much money and you get free gifts. So I picked the Room Refresher Miss Myers Clean Iowa Pine Scent. So this was for free, just because I was buying things that I wanted. So I did not pay. I'm gonna go shut it off in a second if it goes off again. I know it's probably so annoying. So I got that one for free. The next thing that I picked out was the Cedar and Sage Bar Soap. I have maybe used three different of these scents and I love all of them. I didn't try this one yet, but I heard it's like a very fresh scent. So let's try it out. Mm, that's very, ooh, that smells really good. So this is the bar soap that I picked out. These last so, so long. So this is the bar soap that I picked. Next thing that I picked out, I think this is the whole set that I bought. Yeah, so I bought a whole set for my laundry. I bought the glass laundry dispenser, which I will open up and share with you. Stain remover, wrinkle release, and then I believe these are the wool dryer balls. So this is all obviously for my laundry, but this is what kind of caught my eye the most. It is like a self-dispensing laundry. So basically you put your laundry detergent in here. It's just like all their products are so aesthetically pleasing. I think that's one of the things that catches my eye the most. You put your detergent right over here, and then you just flip it over it will go on its own, flip it back, and then when you turn this to the release portion, you could just pour it in. You don't have to get anything over your hands, not sticky at all, and it just like does all the work for you, which is really, really nice. I have to read along on like how to use it, but that's what I think. <laughs> so I got all of that. <sighs> so annoying i apologize and then i also got the ultra concentrated laundry detergent so you use this and i'm pretty sure you mix this with water i think maybe i'm wrong about that but i did get the laundry detergent as well so that was like my whole laundry kit i'm so excited to start using it i have so much stuff in my bathroom now so much stuff in my kitchen and now i'm excited to put stuff from grove into my laundry room as well Next up, I got the Grove Collaboration Hand Sanitizer Gel, and this is in the scent Blood Orange. And last, nope, not last, this is the other free product that I received. I must have spent X amount of dollars and I was able to get two free gifts. So the other free gift that I got is the Mint and Argan Lip Balm with Hydrating Chia Seed Oil. It's a small little guy, but it's free, so I cannot complain. Actually, it's not that small. This is what it looks like. If you sign up for them, you become like a VIP member and they will email you and say, hey, you qualify for this free gift. So you just basically have to put it into your cart. That's all I do. And then sometimes if you have a cart that's X amount of dollars, they'll be like, hey, you will qualify for a second free gift. I've gotten so much free stuff from this company. The last two things that I purchased, the walnut and cellulose scrubber sponge. I'm 
flipping in love with these. These go in my kitchen and I try to use them for half of the month. So I'll use one for half of a month, one for the other half of the month, and then I will throw them away and get new ones. I also have something at my house that's more of like a scrubber that you don't have to throw away because I know that that's probably not the best for the environment, but I really do like these a lot and they're very pretty to look at. They're not like those green, lime green, neon pink colors, which are completely fine. It's just not, it's not my aesthetic for the kitchen. Our kitchen is all white, gray, and black. So this just matches really, really nicely. And I love them. Two pack made from renewable plant materials. So these are like already recycled, which is really, really cool. And the final thing that I picked up is the bamboo soap saver. I plan on putting this in my bathtub to go along with my soap. We don't have one of these and we kind of just have it in a random spot. So now I can just put this over here, put the soap on top, done. Let's call it a day. And that is it for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I do realize that I talk a lot. I'm trying to make like a conscious effort to not talk as much in these videos. I do get those comments quite often like, oh my God, can she just get to the point she talks way too much? And I do try to make a conscious effort to change that, but I've realized also that I'm a chatty Kathy and I'm home all day with an infant until Adam gets home, all my family's at work, all my friends at work. So it's just me and Landon, which is blissful, it's beautiful, but I just talk to an infant all day. So sometimes when I can have like an adult conversation and interaction, even though I'm just talking to a camera, I don't know, it just feels nice. And I know I talk too much, but I am making a conscious effort to limit it unless you guys enjoy like the back and forth kind of banter just let me know either way i really hope that you enjoyed this video thank you guys so so much for watching i really hope that you're having a beautiful day and i look forward to talking to you all soon bye guys and happy happy new year